us pray. Father, we want to thank you for this wonderful and gracious morning, for beauty of your glory, making us to come before you to listen to truth, word of yours, in which you want to speak out for our life not to remain the same. I know you are calling our attention to one thing, and the thing is perfection. For us not to be robbed by devil, for what to prepare for us, that we may not miss it. Holy Spirit, I pray that you speak expressly, touch souls, and to those who are going to even listen to this message outside the world within the United States, Lord, or a part of the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this message, O oh God, bring on to right track of race of the kingdom of God. That we find ourselves upright in Jesus' mighty Redeemer. I pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, praise the name of the Lord. I want to thank God for this great opportunity given to me to share this uh, little word with us. And I believe God is giving us opportunity of no excuse to truth of his kingdom. Because the Bible said faith coming by hearing through God's word. And I know the leading of the Spirit of God does not make man to do mistake than to put to the right track of perfection of his glory. Because we need to focus on things of the heaven. We need to focus on things of the heaven. Because whatever you all hear is nothing. It's nothing. It's just a part of life on heart. It builds nothing to the kingdom of God. The truth of the kingdom of God is holiness and righteousness. Purity. Because the Bible says without holiness, without holiness, no man shall see the law. And that is bringing this message to us for all to understand the part you hold in the race of heaven. The part you have. I taught you this message. The heavenly rays. The heavenly rays. How when we see that the heavenly rays is different from athletic rays that we had on heart. The athletic rays involve in physical body. It takes a lot of exercise you know, to really build yourself, to qualify yourself. But the one of the kingdom of God does not need that. You don't need it. It has nothing to do with the earthly exercise to make the journey to be perfected. We will see the heavenly race is the race that will run from earth to eternity. Because you are going to run in from earth here to eternity. Because the Bible says, whoever his name is not found in the book of life, shall cast into the lake of fire that burn with brimstone. So meaning you have to run it here. Because when you begin to run it in truth of the kingdom of God without willingness, your name will be written in the book of life. We see coming back to that toward the end of this message. Well, we need to understand that the race is of different time. A lot of people are thinking they were running rightfully toward the kingdom of God. Without knowing they were building their own way to the things of the earthen, earthly things, earthly things. They build their souls, their life into it. The Bible made me understand. I want you to hear this clearly. He said, where your mind is, that is where your treasure is. Where your mind is, that is where your treasure is. Because your treasure is something you can't so important, unaffordable. You won't let anything to touch it. Whatever security you can put to that treasure, you have to do it. He said, some people, they take their gold, they take it to the bank. Because the fact that it's only play, they can keep it. They are not even trusting their own safe right in the house. Hallelujah. That is where their mind is because it's so far able to them. And that is the thing of earth earthly. The thing that meant for this world. That the day you die, you go not with it. 
you leave it here. You are leaving it on the halt. You came new to this world, you are going back new. He has nothing to do. But we are not looking at important and the power behind the heavenly race. It's raised everybody, they are not count to be important. We look at money, more above. We look at house, we look at cars. If you don't ride, just that means you are not part of the earth. We lift all those things above. Our heart will focus on those things more than heavenly rays. Heavenly rays. Heavenly rays. Heavenly rays. The children of God today, we are no more focusing on things of eternity. We forget what Jesus Christ made us understand. It's a sick ye the kingdom of God. First, seek ye the kingdom of God. First, because that is your treasure. It is treasure that you cannot afford. I'm sorry, there are a lot of people count it less. Whoever you are, whatever you are looking at, is what you strongly put your mind to, is what is important to you, is what you count as treasure. That is why some people don't count anything to be something to them because they knew that they have few time on the heart. Either you are going to spend 200 years just a few times. Whatever year you are spending on heart, it has day and limitation. The end is coming. But you got to remember the eternity is very, very important. But this area will look less. We don't look at it so serious. We don't count it to be something that we need to really have focus on and walk toward. That's your treasure. Believers, that's your treasure. And that is the race you came to run on the earth. Look at the, the book of John chapter 14 verse 2. Look at what Jesus Christ said. For you to know you came here to run the race. He said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would not told you I go to prepare a place for you. Verse 3 says, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again to receive you unto myself that where I am, there ye may be also. Look at it. Look at Jesus Christ. Look at what he's telling us. Look at what he declared to our hearing. That while I'm leaving you now, I'm coming back. The rest you are running is where you end it into. That will make you to qualify to be a man who Christ is coming to meet. Because it's not coming for sinners. It's not coming to those who are looking at the things of this world to be their treasures. And that involves in many things. That cause a lot of atrocity. That involve in many crimes. There are crimes that you are making that government cannot even arrest you of. You know that. But before the kingdom of God is not welcome. Before our Lord, Savior, is not appreciate, is disqualify you to be part of his kingdom. Because the Bible made me understand, no unrighteous thing, I've said it before, no unrighteous thing will enter therein. No, it's off out of the trap. The beauty and the glory of God rested upon those who see eternity to be the goal. That is why you see the marriage understanding is not there. Why? Because one, look at this wall. To be their treasures. The things of this world. To be their treasure. Yes if not. There shouldn't be any problem at all. Because we had the same goal. We all knew that we are living all this thing here. It's not good with us. When Christ come. Who are the one is coming to? Is he coming for you? With top of race you are running. With top of race you are running. 
We see that God wants every believer to know the type of race. You're running. You see the type of race that is perfected before him. Or that is, uh, that way, whereby I can say we, we can only see perfection in it. That God can see perfection in that your race. Now, I want you to look at the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 24. Now ye know that they which run in a race run all. I want you to mark that very well. Run all. But one receive the prize. So run that ye may obtain. <laughs> You know, when he tells you to run all, he's talking about the perfection, purity, righteousness, being in track of holiness. Not allow anything to deviate you, the things of this world. To take, not to cut your attention from truth of his kingdom. Right, right in track. Which do we know? If the earthly Race condemn whoever that step out of his track is offensive, is breaking the law of race. Hallelujah! Is breaking the law of race because anyone that left is is a track to another one. Track if you, if you are the number one, is you're gonna be the caliber. Nothing should take you out of that track. The track God called us to is to live right, obedient to His word. Walk in truth of his kingdom. You know, believe in total war. Which we pilot you to the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ made us understand in John chapter 10 verse 27. John chapter 10. I read verse 27. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. Because they don't argue with the things of his kingdom. They will not oppose the word that is speaking right now to your life. Because it's calling you, it's challenging you, it's making you to see those things that is making you to have weakness. Those things that is making you to come out of your truck and facing different direction that will lead you to destruction. I want you to think about it. What are those things? You are going to see things here. If you build on what you want to hear here, oh my God, you God need to readjust yourself. Come back to your track. Come back to your track. Come back to God. Come back to purity. Come back to righteousness. Come back to upright in truth of this kingdom. He loves every one of us. He love every one of us. I remember in Isaiah chapter 1, when God was calling the children of Israel, begging them to track of righteousness, purity. And that's opportunity is given to us, the message is coming to us, in order for us to be able to reconcile with him, to change. You know, we yeah, yeah, change our mind from that negativity. The one that wanted to subtract you, that wanted to, you know, take your attention, that wanted to you know, delay you, that wanted you not to look at eternity, that giving you a different, you know, direction, different focus. Oh my God, it is time for you to understand what Christ is making us to understand. I know my sheep, because they don't again his word. When his word comes, they submissive to his word. They don't argue with the truth. When the word comes, they believe in his word. Because they never see anything wrong from war. He has told not told them. He believe, they believe in it. They accept it. They walk with it. They stand in it. And that's the truth of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Now, my question, what type of race you are running? What type of race you are running? What type of race you are running? 
What will God want to open your eyes to want in this money? To let you know the type of race. If you have been running in negatively, you're going to see yourself now. If you are running in uprightly, yes, it will reveal itself to you right now. Why? The word of God has opened our eyes to let us know the truth of race. God wants everybody to run on heart here. Both little and old. Both young and elderly one. He wants you to understand the type of race you will run. So God will not be guilty of your wrong when you get to heaven. God will see the truth of his glory rested upon you. And we know that yes, all what you need has been given to you. All what you needed, let it be provided. The truth has been revealed to you. I want you to remember one thing. I know we all know the story of Lazarus and the rich man. Rich man get to heaven before he know the truth. But the one that stand in pain, the Lazarus, he was in the bosom of Abraham when he got to heaven. Because he believed he believed in truth of the kingdom. He believed in truth of the kingdom. Lazarus was in the bosom of Abraham in heaven. Lazarus, he was in the bosom of Abraham. And look at the funny thing, the rich man, that enjoyed the earthly thing, that feeds so great in the things of this world, is begging the one that he said is smelling in heaven to come and give him a dot of water. Can you imagine that? A dot of water. Oh my God. Hey, the truth shall set us free. The life you live will tell about your eternity when you close your eyes out of this world. <laughs> there is no game in this. You can bribe a man, but you cannot bribe God. You can bribe the Holy Spirit. You cannot bribe Holy Spirit. You cannot bribe the Holy Spirit. You need to know the type of race you are running. The book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 11. I want you to listen to this one very well. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the sweet. Not the battle to be to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise. Nor yet riches to men of understanding. Nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and change are happening to them all. You know, Proverb is making us to understand something about the heavenly race. Ah, uh, yes. It talks about the race is not to the sift. Not to the sift. When, when we're talking about swift, it's talking about running faster. It's talking about you know, getting all energy and to find yourself to be in the front all the time. But that eternity reigns is not there. If you're type of person looking at it in that angle, I tell you, you might miss eternity. You might lose eternity. I want you to get it clear. It said, not the battle to the strong. It's not by your physical energy that God needed in your race to eternity. No. Uh, it not say, oh, bread for the wise. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. It's not that. It's not a provision to the one that what? That wise. No riches to the men of understanding. Oh, no. That, oh, yeah, the race. It's going to make me to be enriched. 
because I got understanding, you will feel it. It's not meant for that. It's not meant for that. Nor favor to men of skill. It doesn't matter the type of skill you have. <laughs> it's not qualified for top of this race. No, you are far from it. Because it's not meant for the men of skill. And shares happen to them all. I want you to listen carefully. Be poor, be rich, being intelligent, be strong, being God in understanding, being most wise man on the earth. One thing you need to understand, this is to let you know the chance of rest stand in the truth of his word. <laughs> How God wanted it. The way God laid it down. I want you to get this. The beginning of God's word in understanding make us to understand in Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. It said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. I want you to get it clear. But food despise wisdom and instruction. When we're talking about knowledge, people look at it in man too much, but they didn't count it on God. Hallelujah. Is God that holds it? Is the one that can give it, and it can come through God's word, through submissive to His word, and this is the power. That will make you to be able to run the race. This is the power that will make you to be able to run the race. Look at what Jesus Christ said in John chapter 6, verse 33. Seek ye the kingdom of God first and his righteousness. <laughs> no other way. The materials of earthly meant for this wall, for the things of the wall, for you to build things of the wall, is not for the kingdom of God. Materials of the wall, but what God needs from you is for you to fear God, will bring the fear of God, God's wall. I want to show you something in Genesis chapter 17. And the Bible say he called Abraham. And he said, War before me, I'm the perfect. God is asking for your perfection, upright. And the Bible say, He said, My covenant is which you have released it on your life. But all I need from you is obedience and righteousness. And the scripture say, And Abraham fell on his face before the Lord and they worship God. Meaning I surrender. Your will will be my will. No wonder the scriptures made us all the same. He said, Abraham obeyed God and is counted unto him as a righteous, as righteous man. I mean, as, as a righteous, uh, as, as, as righteousness. Hallelujah. As righteousness. Now, I want you to get this clear. Why? Because he was submissive to the truth, God's word. Are you against the truth that is coming to you? Because if the skill of man is beginning to speak to you, you will see condemnation in this message. <laughs> if the man of wise is looking at this message, you begin to see foolishness in what I'm saying. No wonder the Bible say. <laughs> The way of Calvary is foolish to those who are destroyed. But it is power to those who are born again that receive Jesus Christ. That accepted him. Because they don't wise on their own. They believe in the totality of his hope. They rested and stand in truth of the world. What type of race are you running? Heavenly race. Heavenly race. What type of race you are running? Are you building your skill toward the race of eternity? The Bible says those who are led by the Spirit 
as sons of God. And the spirit perfection of the kingdom of God established in you. You go beyond normal level. That everybody will see. They will not even understand what is working in you. Then we begin to say we know that God is in you. I remember they made it unto our Savior. He said if now that you come from God what you are doing nobody can do it. Why? The proof of the kingdom of God was established and be revealed through him and that is the power that he gave to those who are that accepted him no wonder John 3 60 says for God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son whosoever believed in him shall not perish but have eternal life it comes from him it doesn't come from anywhere it's to the true life to perfection of the kingdom of God. The heavenly race. <laughs> heavenly race. Heavenly race. Heavenly race. The fear of God. The fear of God. The fear of God. You got me to fear God. You God need to fear God, but full with despise, wisdom and destruction of God. Because he holds it. He's the only one that gave it. He manifests it in you. And the people will begin to see the glory of God, not you. Not in me. Not in any man. But in mighty God. In beauty of his glory. Perfection of the righteousness. Establish. Establish. Power of his glory. Establish. Power of his covenant. Establish. And people will begin to see beyond normal. Hallelujah. The true race. The true race. The true race. So we need to stand in God's war. So means I said through God's war. This will take me to Hebrew chapter 12 verse 1. Hebrew chapter 12 verse 1. We have all seen we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witness. I want you to mind that. Let us lay aside in every way and the sin which doeth so easily beset us and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Every race does not need forceful. It needs patience. Every race does not need rushing. But another thing you need to understand here, the way you are running it, the record is being taken in heaven. Because wherefore, see we also are compassed about with a great cloud of witness. Can you see? Watching the way you are running the race. Looking at all Application you applied means they were walk, they were watching over your obedience to a structure that guided you to that perfection. The record is being take place. What they are seeing is what they are jotting down. The word I'm speaking right now, yes, is being jotted down. As you listen to this message, it's being jotted down against you. Are you believing it? Are you looking at it with earthly understanding? Are you accepting the truth which God is revealing to you? Are you coming to the side of his perfect will? The heavenly race. The heavenly race. The heavenly race. The heavenly race. 
Heaven attention is on how you are running the race. Heaven attention, heaven attention focus, looking even what you are thinking right now as you are watching right now. It's looking at you. It's looking at your heart. It's, it's thinking about what you are, you are you are thinking against the perfect will of his kingdom. You need to come back to God. Understand what truth means. This is a faith to say in what he of acceptance. The Christ came to this world. He died for us. He came to this world. He died for us. If you've been born again, the truth of his kingdom was must, must, must continue in your life. You mustn't say negatively. No negative. You should see the things of the kingdom of God. That to give yourself to war is making you to understand through his war. That's why I say, come unto me. All you that are heavy, let it we give you rest. In my father's house, there are many merchants. No, listen. He has called you. He's calling you back. Don't lose the focus. Come back to the track of perfection of heavenly rays. Of heavenly rays. You will be there. You will surely make it. His glory will see you through. His kingdom will establish you. Oh, people have run the race. No wonder Paul said, I fight a good fight, a fight of faith. He said, A righteous Christ laid down for me in heaven. You can see the connection to things of the kingdom. What do you think is waiting for you in heaven as you are even watching this message? You that didn't listen to me, what do you think is waiting for you? What is waiting for you? So I want to proudly say it through the covenant of connection he have related to the seed of the kingdom. And I know he cannot tell I because he say what all the spirit have opened his eye to see relating to the rest that he is going to have in the kingdom of God. He has run a race. He has fight a good fight. And this is what God wants us to run. To run like them, to stand like them, to embrace the truth in which they accommodated to their life, that empower them to let them see the reward of eternity. Right on the earth here. What a revelation you see the fish. What a revelation you are receiving. Is it not negative in it? Somebody want to break my head? I'm running, I cannot cross. Why? Because of what you saw. Come back to God. Let the truth of his kingdom lead you through. And your deliverance will come. You see the beauty of his glory we establish in you. Then you can rule in power of perfection of his glory. The heavenly rays. The heavenly rays. The heavenly rays. Revelation chapter 20, verse 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the book was opened, and another book was opened, which in the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the book according to their works. You cannot indulge your negativities. Because the eyes wash over you 24 hours. As you are listening. Can you close your eyes right now? Because the moment has come that we need to fully reconcile with him and talk to God. Lord, I'm not allowing anything 
to distract me from this race, my job, my children, my wife, my husband, my mother, my father, my uncles, outside the government, I'm going to stand in the truth of direction of perfection of your glory. Because you don't know what heaven is writing about you. Just say, God, I'm sorry. I'm going to be faithful all around, yes. I'm going to walk with you, Daddy. I will let your will be my will. Your truth to rule over me. I will stand in truth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Let's open our mouth and pray. Talk to God. The Lord have mercy. In Jesus' mighty redeemer, we'll pray. Lord, I want to thank you for this great opportunity. Let your word come out. Lord, you spoke beyond my own understanding. And I bless you because you used me. And I too connected to truth of this world. Because I see the picture of life. Of perfection toward the heavenly race. Lord, I pray this world will not even judge me in the day of the judgment. I will walk in truth of track of your perfection. And I pray, as many that is confessing their sins, Lord, I pray the mercy from above will come upon them. Lord, I pray that you empower them to stand upright in truth of your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I praise your holy name. Blessed be the holy name. I worship you for truth of your kingdom. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' mighty redeemer, I pray. Amen.